guys and welcome back to another video today we're talking about my weight i weighed in and i haven't weighed in in i want to say over a year it's been a long time and i just stopped weighing in myself because um a little bit back story if you're new to my channel i i used to be 230 pounds i lost 100 pounds or a little bit more i got all the way down to 125 so that was a little bit over 100 pounds and that was like 11 years ago i've been maintaining i can call it maintaining for 11 years and um obviously it took me it took me one year to lose all that weight but the rest of the time i, I was either trying to work on my eating disorders because i did unfortunately i did have eating disorders when you lose when you lose such a big amount of weight it's it's very common and easy to fall into these you know eating disorders and being obsessed with losing weight so i got to the point where I, I was losing weight i was super thin already and i was super i had lost a lot of weight already but in my mind i felt like i needed to keep on losing weight so it was just a struggle you know i struggled with that for like a, a year or two i was obsessed with counting my macros and calories and cardio and making sure i worked out five or six times a week so i was very obsessed with that um, somehow my body I still feel like I needed to lose weight I, I was so like in this weight loss phase it, it was hard for me from going to a weight loss journey to like maintaining my weight it was hard for me to go back to eating increase my calories I have so many videos on how I lost weight you know and all of that so if you guys are interested I'm gonna try and look them up for you and link them in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check them out it was, then there was a point where I was just maintaining I was taking a break from tracking I was just trying to jump into intuitive eating uh, i did track macros for a very long time so i'm pretty good at intuitive eating and eyeballing my food you know i measured my chicken my veggies my rice my all, all of that for a long time which by now i can portion i can eyeball if i look at my food how much i'm eating of what so and i pretty much eat a lot of the same things so i know when i'm i know my bo now i know my body re really well and i know when i'm going over my macros or i need to eat a little bit more without me tracking anything so if you are in a weight loss journey i do recommend that you do track at the beginning like weigh your food track because it's important that you know and you learn portion sizes uh it's super important because uh that way you know you don't want to track your whole life but you do want to educate yourself on like reading nutrition facts and portions how many grams of protein you should have how many grams of carbs and fat and all of that i do think that it does help a lot with weight loss or maintaining weight or gaining weight and then i got to a point where i had to get a little i wanted to get a little bit of weight because i did not feel happy even though i was thin i had lost weight i did also have diabetes which that uh reversed i was not considered diabetic anymore so th there was a point where i didn't feel good even though i was thin so i'm like you know what i want to gain muscle i was super flat like i had no ass at all nothing so i wanted to gain and build my body now i wanted to focus more on my physique looking good looking a little bit thicker so that took time also because that was a mental struggle with oh my god i'm gaining weight and like i'm eating more than i'm used to and all these things but i thank god i was able to mentally change that change that mentality that i had so from being 125 i gained now i weighed myself finally and i weigh i actually took a picture i just felt very bloated yesterday and i felt like super como inflamada. i didn't i didn't weigh in because of that but i was just curious i'm like you know what i haven't weighed in in so long i'm so curious of knowing how much i weigh you know so this morning before i eat anything after using the restroom that's the best time when you can weigh in I weighed myself and I was 144.6, which for me that's that's good. You know, I would do one. I would rather be like in the 130s, 135, which I do need probably to lose like a good 15 pounds. But right now I'm not focused in weight losing weight. I'm focused in gaining muscle. I have seen improvements on my legs, my quads, my glutes a little bit which i'm really happy about that um so i want to get a little bit more muscle there and then cut back i'm not ready to you know go into a weight loss phase yet i obviously i do feel like a little bit fuller like my face un poquito más cachetona, my arms that's where i gain weight in my back that bothers me but i know it's part of the process if i want to gain muscle if i want to gain uh, mass I, that has to happen 
I try to do like a clean bulk where I'm not eating a lot of junk, making sure I'm eating enough protein. So yeah, I'm 144. So that brings me down if I count how much I gained. So I went all the way to 125. And I'm 144.6. I gained 19 pounds. And I'm okay with that because, like I said, I was super thin. Like, no tenía nada. Now I feel better. I feel happier. I have more flexibility. I don't track macros. I intuitive eat. I give myself a little bit more freedom or more flexibility with what I eat. Um, obviously, if I catch myself, like, eating too much of things that I shouldn't be eating not shouldn't be eating but you know foods that are not nutritious for me foods that are just empty calories I stop myself but also when I'm craving something I don't I don't uh, restrict myself but I don't abuse I don't overdo it because I know it's super easy to just eat 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 but I try to have like a bite of something and okay I'm good and I'm so proud of myself because even till this point I don't just drive to McDonald's or a taco shop or you know a burger place to buy myself something I only have it once in a while you know if Josh is gonna eat something he'll buy me something and even so I try to make healthier choices so for me it's impressive that I've been doing that I've been I still work out I sometimes work out four times a week because I've been super busy and I mean that should be an excuse but I work out sometimes three four or five days and for me it's impressive that my weight is still there I thought I was gonna be like 155 160 but again it was just that I was feeling bloated um, yesterday or this past week so I'm impressed uh, that shows me that my skills my eyeballing skills tracking macros for so long worked and helped a lot because I've been able to maintain my maintaining weight loss guys it's super hard it's so hard because you know you feel comfortable already and you feel like you have more freedom to eat whatever you want but it's all in the mentality you have to train yourself this is, this is a lifestyle and i haven't stopped going to the gym and i'm passionate about that and i love working out hi you guys so unfortunately i don't know what happened to the other part of the video um but i'm gonna finish what i was saying here hopefully i can remember basically i'm really proud of myself i never thought i would get to this place in my life um from you know being overweight to having eating disorders being obsessed with losing weight um it was really hard to change my mentality i finally can say that i'm free and i'm happy and i have flexibility and i still love to work out work on myself i feel like i can always do better i know I don't, i'm not the thinnest or the most fit like fitness influencer or personal trainer but i am happy and i only know where i've been and i feel like that's why a lot of people that choose me to be their personal trainer coach they choose me because they know that i've been through everything that they have been through or i've been overweight myself and i've been there with you if you think you're never going to be able to lose weight if you think that you're always going to be over overweight your whole life let me tell you that no that's not true I was one of those that thought the same thing. I was able to lose weight. You just need a lot of dedication, a lot of um, dedication, consistency. Don't give up on yourself and keep on pushing through no matter what. Even if you, even if you don't, let's say you fall off track for a week, that's okay. Go back on track yourself and don't depend on no one to motivate you or to push you. You only got yourself. So I hope this video helped you and yes i do recommend go track macros if you if you can't count on yourself to have um portion control i recommend that you educate yourself read read nutrition facts um learn portion sizes that will help you a lot um if you're interested in my coaching i, I do help you with macros with workout routines so please um contact me and i'm gonna leave my email below it's fitsuzi at gmail.com i also have a website with a lot of healthy i also have a website with a healthy cookbook to have a breakfast one and a mexican healthy cookbook so yeah i believe that you don't have to be boring you just have to eat the right things you can um recreate your your favorite foods into healthier versions there's always a way so once you fall in love with this lifestyle it's gonna be like i feel like i i fell in love with my lifestyle that's why i haven't gained all the way back like i said i did gain a couple pounds but as you guys saw my body composition changed like i look different than what i looked when i actually when i first lost weight 
So just trust the process. Don't give up. I'm going to be making more weight loss videos, even though I'm not myself in a weight loss phase right now. But I went through it and I want to tell you guys the best way to do it versus going like me through trial and error. So thank you guys again for watching this video. As you guys see, I'm editing the video right now. I just wanted to add this clip because I could not find the other clip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe and you turn on the bell, the post notifications. If not, you're not going to be notified when I upload. Por favor, aprieten la campanita para que uh, vean cuando pongo un video nuevo. I don't know why YouTube is not showing my videos anymore, but please, if you can help me, I would really appreciate it. Instagram, I'm still posting daily. Fitzuzi, I love you guys so much. Thank you for, if you have been here since the beginning and or if you're new, welcome. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to do what's right, now what's easy. Bye.